Hello, this is Cat Steelman reporting for Infinity News Network. A massive storm cell has descended upon the Minecraft world, and it doesn't look to be going away anytime soon. The storm began near the end of Beta 1.7.3, and it hasn't let up since Beta 1.8. Some say that this storm heralds yet another update just on the horizon. Others say it is a bad omen from the mysterious entities known as the Ancients. Whatever the case, I, Cat Steelman, star reporter, will keep you informed only on Infinity News Network. Hello, it is I, Steel Cat, and you are watching Minecraft 10 Years Ago, the series about playing Minecraft as it was. Although in this case, uh, admittedly, it's more like Minecraft 10 years and a month ago, but point being, it's been raining for a while. Um, a, a long, oh, yep, 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 thunder, rain, I... I don't know what's up, guys. It's, uh... I don't know if the, the ancients are mad or something, or there's, like, some curse. I don't know. It just... It won't stop raining. Um, pretty, pretty sure this is because... Because Notch and Jeb made the adventure update, and uh, it, it brought the storm. The storm that is now upon us. But anywho, I did a little bit of mining on a Discord stream, and for the first time, I heard... A creeper. Where you at? No, 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 be gone. Don't you dare break my house. There we go. Anywho, off, <laughs> off camera, kind of on camera though. Uh, we broke our first stack of diamonds. So finally, after all this time, we're over a stack of diamonds for the first time in this series. Woohoo! Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to put some gunpowder in there because I don't know what else to do with it. And my dudes, we're in a new update. Things are new. Things have changed. Um, none of these paintings will render properly. Some of these chests were the same way, but I could just place a torch and fix them. But the paintings will not fix themselves, and I don't even know which paintings it was, really. So we're just going to have to break them and replace them and hope for a... Wait a minute. What? Well, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave a hole in the ceiling so that I can have my paintings back. This is so dumb. What is with paintings in this version? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know what's going on here. Painting. Oh no, got to change this one. Don't. Don't want to have multiple of the same painting. Why? Oh my goodness. That's fine. Okay, and then try to fix this one next. Uh, but well, it looks dumb. But whatever. <laughs> We have a fixed painting for now. Hooray. So what have I done down here? I believe there's not a whole lot that's new. I've just been doing some grinding. But in terms of the update itself, there is a whole lot that's new. First of all, double tap W and we can run. Okay, sprint jumping is now in the game. We're no longer in a snow biome, technically. Um, we were from beta 1.2 to beta 1.7.3, but now we are in just a regular plains or forest or whatever uh, so all this snow is now it's now just kind of here I guess I could go around and gather up some free snow if I wanted to clear clear off these hills but I mean the snow biome that was here goes all the way over there to outpost alpha really far away so oh yeah and hunger is now a thing hunger is now a thing food stacks and hunger is now a thing so my hunger bar goes down because I am sprint jumping what Oh, no, no. Where did you come from? <laughs> Anywho, lightning struck my tree. I really hope this storm doesn't destroy the world. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, I need some food. Do I have some food? I'm sure I have some food somewhere. I. These look different. These look quite different. And they stack. 
And there's an animation to eat them. No noise, though. There's a zombie. Why are there so many mobs around here all of a sudden? Uh, they're spawning over here somewhere. They keep coming from that direction. But I don't know where exactly. I can't I can't eat to heal. This is annoying, Notch. Notch! Jeez, oh, is he ever going to fix his game? So there's a number of things we could do with this episode. One thing we could do is we could check out some new blocks. There's a... Uh, one new block in the game that is one of my personal favorites from the modern game. So I'm going to go ahead and craft me some of those. I guess I'll use it. I don't need a crafting table for it, but I feel like using one. So there. Boom. Look at these. These are the amazing, the amazing stone bricks. And uh, these, when used sparingly... Honestly, it feels pretty good right now to be back in the old... Video making grind. I've been making more, more random stuff recently, and not as much of my usual content. So feels good to be back in the home world, so to speak. But uh, still raining. Yep. Anywho, stone brick is definitely not the only new thing added. We can also take some of this iron and make iron bars. Got sixteen iron bars. Man, running is addicting once you actually get it. Holy cow. I was supposed to replant this, wasn't I? Oh, well. Hey, doggos. What can we do with iron bars? Can we put one here? There we go. Look at that. We got iron bars on a bookshelf. Uh, could I put something on top of those iron bars? Okay, well, there's a little bit of decor. I don't know what it's for or what it would be for, but it's there. Um, and then I could I could put another one somewhere, like uh, over over here. Just to kind of replicate it, make it look like it's intentional, you know. Boop. There we go, look at that. Like that, that could almost be like a staircase. Up to, uh, up there somewhere. I mean, it, it, shoot, it could be a staircase, hold on. There we go, I now have a really weird staircase that I can walk up. I don't know why I would want to have this staircase, but I have it if I, for some reason, decide <laughs> I want a staircase. I can go up here, and I can go ba 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 do 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 and go places. Um, see, what is up here? I mean, it's a good day to work inside anyway, because consider... Oh, I had forgotten that I used half slaps for this, but I guess it makes sense. I'm already upstairs anyway, but it could... I, this could be like the attic. This could be the attic up here. Hold on, yeah, this would be great. There we go. I have an attic. I have an attic now. This is nice. There are two crafting tables here. I'm digging out this attic, and yeah, there's just a couple of crafting tables here. I don't know... I... I don't know... Are those visible from below? Let me go look. Uh... Yeah, I really don't know why those are... Are they right here? Hold on. They're right here! <laughs> there's crafting... I had forgotten that I placed crafting tables right there. Wow. Oh, wait, did I? I seriously never finished this ceiling. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Um, I left that ceiling unfinished. For for how long? I don't even know. Excuse me, doggos. Trying to trying to do some renovations here. Fix things up. And actually, I think an attic would be a great space to use some of these new blocks. Some of these new 1.8 blocks. A lot of them look kind of kind of a dark, dingy feeling. <laughs> There's even a staircase block over here. What the heck? I was just placing whatever blocks I, I... This was when I didn't have much wood. I think that's why this happened, because I was I was short on wood, and I had these three blocks, and here you go. <laughs> I just shoved them in there. Oh, I, I need, like, I need some storage up here already. Hold on. Uh, I already used up all my stinking wood. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Here we go. Yep, I'm gonna get a chest up in the attic, and it's gonna have junk in it, which is kind of fitting. Seeing as it is an attic. A uh, chest in an attic. We're gonna put this over here, I guess. <laughs> Can I put... Oh, really? Really? I can't place... Are you kidding me, Notch? There's no excuse for this crap, Notch. Fix your game. Jeez. Boo. 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 Doo -doo. Mine, mine, mine some blocks in the thunderstorm. 
Staying inside so I don't die and my inventory doesn't get wet. Very good. It's a nice looking attic space. I I am very, very impressed with what we've got up here. Oh goodness, yeah. Um, Another thing to mention is the, the foliage color has changed down here. This seems like a desert to me, but I'm not sure. Um, either way, it's it's uh, it's ugly. It's it's ugly though. I don't really care for it, but uh, it is what it is. Um, and then over here in the hold on, hold on, quarantine zone. Uh, let me. I, I got too I got too much stuff in my inventory. Okay, I got too much stuff in my inventory. Be gone. Be, be gone. I don't want you. Okay. Okay. Um. Here we go. Okay, this is this is the uh, special items in quarantine. Have to wear the special quarantine vest whenever we go in here. Notice it is wearing out a bit. The radioactivity in this room will do that to the quarantine vest, but uh, that's okay. We got a new, we got a new item: zombie flesh, the most useless item in Minecraft history. Rest in peace. And there's there's some zombie flesh. As a matter of fact, hold on. And there we go. Some more useless zombie flesh. To this day, this stuff basically has no use. I mean, sure, you can eat it and get sick. And like, I think they added some kind of minor use to it recently. It doesn't do anything, guys. It's the most useless item. Except for maybe the poison potato. But I think even that is used in some kind of brewing. I don't know. It's useless. It's it's horrible. It's dumb. Zombie flesh sucks. Fix your game, Notch. I'm gonna quit Minecraft and go play Roblox or something. Fortnite. Uh, um, Undertale. Sus. Okay, so, ow. I've been working around here for a while, working up an appetite, evidently. Goodness. Is it still raining? Yes, it's still raining. It's still raining. It hasn't stopped raining. It's still raining. It's 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 still it's still it's still raining. So, uh, I guess um we could. Oh shoot! I'm still wearing the suit. Well, whatever, whatever. I guess we could just go. We we, we could just go out. Um, maybe that way, because this leads to late beta terrain. So, this would be the sensible place to go if we want to find some new terrain. So, despite the sucky we Oh, there is a desert biome here. Oh, look at that. No more rain. Kinda. Point being, we could just go out this way and go and try to find some new terrain and some new wonderful tastic things if we can um, and see what's out there in the beta 1.8 terrain world of beta 1.8-ness and, and and do something besides just staying inside and refusing to go out because it's raining because that would suck you know you know this is this is minecraft it's about it's about well, well mining mining is indoor activity and crafting is also cut the point is you can it's the adventure update and we should go on, on an adventure we should go on an adventure most definitely so Let's do that. Okay, it is almost sunrise, and we are reaching the end of this road. And out here we have beta 1.6 or 1.73 chunks. I forget which, but pretty new. I probably should have brought a compass, but... Eh. Oh, well. Um, we'll just have to use our old our old sense of direction to try to keep, keep track of where we're at here. I'm just going to keep heading this way until I find... New chunks. There's a crafting table, so I've been here just once because I was checking out the fresh new terrain. I'm not seeing any chunk borders around here. <gasps> some pumpkins! I can get some pumpkins while we're out here. Sweet. Some sweet, beautiful, naturally generated pumpkins, just as Notch intended. Yes, indeed, I will take some of those. Thank you very much. Got 11 pumpkins out of that deal. Sweet. I'm getting close to a stack of pumpkins back home, so that'll be great. It's strange how there's no tall grass. There should be tall grass here if this is beta 1 1.6, 173 kind of terrain. Why is... why is there a hole? Why? 
What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, okay then. Cool. Not sure what that's all about. But evidently, that chunk generated earlier or something, or it got reset somehow. Where am I? I thought I was in new chunks, but now I'm just a lot less certain about where I am right now. A lot. Are those torches? Have I been here? Have I been out this far? Okay. Well then, if I've been out this far, then I think my best bet is to turn... I could go that way. Hmm, or I could go... I could go right. I think I'm gonna try this way first, and see if that works. And if that doesn't work, I will turn back in the other direction and head that way. Alright, let's go out on the open sea once more, and into the right... Boat. 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 <laughs> okay. Took the boat a minute to decide which direction was forward. But anywho, that's a chunk border. That's a chunk border if I ever saw one. Okay, so there's new chunks around here somewhere. That's for sure. Okay, another torch. I've been here. I've done more exploring than I thought. Okay, there's some grass, so that's... That's more current terrain. Current-ish. That is also grass, so that is going to be slightly more current terrain. Oh, and here is a definite ah, chunk board! Whoa! The ocean just dropped out from under- what is happening? What is happening? I'm in- I'm in new chunks. I'm in new chunks, and stuff is getting weird, guys. I'm just gonna go over here towards this land. It looks a lot safer than the water right now. The water's kind of scaring me, so let's go to land. Okay, here we are on the land. A bunch of pigus, that's cool. Although I know that pigs do not respawn anymore. You have to breed them or something. With, with wheat, I think. I don't have any wheat, but uh, there's some pigs. Um, you know, it occurs to me, I don't know... If I have any pigs, I haven't seen any mobs spawning at home since beta 1.8. So that could be a problem. We might have to figure out how to get some animals back home. Uh, that's a problem for another day, though. We can just grow wheat for now, as we need food. Ooh, night time's coming. I better build some shelter or something here. Look at all those pigs! It's like a field of pigs. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> so clearly the new mob spawning mechanic uh, has some polishing to be done on it, but that's okay. Let's make ourselves a little hole quickly. I don't want mob spawning everywhere. Okay, hopefully... Oh, hold on, I'm going to have my sword ready, just in case of a nightmare. We're good, we're good. No nightmare, no nothing. Okay, I now have a little, little hidey hole if I need it for later. Guys, the rain stopped. The, the rain, it's a miracle! <laughs> the rain has finally stopped. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, we can explore these fresh new, new, new terrain. Beta 1.8 adventure update with fresh new eyes. Uh, yep, yep, it's pretty darn flat. Very flat, very open, grass, flowers, and so, so many pigs. I, I, I could get some pork chops, I could get some pork chops. So many pigs, though. I know that these won't despawn, so I can just kind of leave them here. This is, what are our coordinates right now? Because this is kind of a good little outpost area right here. Uh, about 1410Z, 470X, I'll try to... Write that down later, I guess. But for now... Let, let's go explore. Wow. Coming to the top of this beautiful hill. And what do we get? The ocean. We get more pigs. There's more pigs. There's, why is it only pigs spawning? No cows. Okay, there's some sheep. There's some sheep. So we got something else spawning out here. Yeah, this terrain... Definitely has more of that modern feel to- Whoa! There's a swamp. There's a swamp. Okay. We gotta go check out the swamp. 
We got some oak trees with some vines, and I could, I guess I could cut some vines while I'm here. I got some shears, so how do I like that? Okay, cool. Cool. I could get some vines here, and I believe they grow, so I could just grab a few, and I can grow them at my leisure, so to speak. Some shrooms. A chicken. Hello, chickens. Several chickens, in fact. There's a cow, finally. First time I've seen a cow in this episode. Hello, cow. <laughs> Hello, cow. You're the only cow here, though, so... We've got ourselves some hilly terrain. Some more cows. Okay, so there's more than one cow out here. That's good. That's good. Whoa, those are some mountains. Those are some big old mountains. You know, this is my first time actually extensively exploring beta 1.8 terrain. So, it's kind of cool, actually. Whoa, ravine. Okay. Okay, ravine. Ravine. Don't, don't want to fall into that and die but those are those are a thing now welcome welcome to your modern minecraft terrain generation up the mountain we go we go up the mountain we go it's an adventure okay top of the mountain here we are oh my goodness just more big big empty mountains I honestly don't dislike the terrain generation so far other than it feels way more spread out. Like you have to go further to find anything. It's got some got some halfway decent forests. The swamps aren't so bad. And the mountains, the mountains are pretty cool. They're just they feel barren. You know, because they're less compact. They feel they feel pretty barren. Oh hey chicken. I have a I have a buddy up here in the mountain. Hi. Okay, how do I get back down? <laughs> okay, sleeping with my sword in hand, just in case. Okay, we're good. Woo! Made it through another night. I do need some bread. Nom nom nom. Very silent nom, but nom nonetheless. So I was looking un under the water over here, and I saw like this big square. I think it's just the terrain itself. I don't think there's anything there. Too scared to go look, honestly. Modern Minecraft oceans, like from this point through 1.12, they're kind of scary to me. Like, beta isn't that scary in the ocean, but this version, the oceans, they have a scary feel to them. I don't know why. Here's a taiga. It is cool to be able to run. But again, this terrain seems to be designed in a way where you kind of have to run to experience it. Because it's just so... It's not as it's not as compact as as the older beta terrain felt like. Everything feels more spread out, more open... You really have to go some distance before you feel like you've seen anything, you know? Oh, there's a fire! Well, let's go see what's up with that. Must be some lava. Yep, yep, there's a lava pool. And everything's on fire. Some water over here as well. Well, this is cool. It's always fun to see one of these little natural forest fires, because <laughs> random lava pool in the woods. You know, you're just walking through. Lava pool in the woods. Man, but for some reason, for me personally, I don't know why, something about seeing a lava pool in the woods in Minecraft is just a very, a very Minecraft feeling sort of thing. It's something you don't really see, well obviously you don't see that in real life, but you also don't see that in, I don't know, a lot of other games. Lava pool in the woods, just walking through, boom, there's some random lava. It just has this minecraft feel to it, and some of my earliest memories of playing this game at friends' houses or whatever. Uh, they're, you know, lava pools in the woods. Here we are. So, yeah. Minecrafty moments. Bum ba dum ba bum Bum ba dum ba bum I haven't found anything new, but I found the most important thing of all, and that's some more naturally generated organic pumpkins. Let's get some of those bad boys. And, it, oh goodness, see, you see, you miss your jump, and your running stops. Anywho, come to Papa. Come to Papa Pumpkins. I definitely need to survive because I really want to make it back home with these pumpkins. Okay, I need I need some kind of hidey hole. Oh goodness. Oh no. Uh screw it, let's just hope for the best. If this doesn't work, we might not survive the night. Boom boom. 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 Ba doo ba doo ba doo. Ba doo ba doo. Uh ba doo. Okay. Um ba doo. Let's hope for the best. I said, let's hope for the best. I said, 
I said, there we go. <laughs> Apparently you can't sleep in the bed if you're standing on it. Did I survive? I did. Okay. We're good. I'm just going to leave these torches here as a memory of this magic moment. Uh, I think I'm reaching the edge of this landmass here. It looks like there's... Is that a chunk border over there? If it is, then that would be back into earlier beta terrain. I'm just going to follow the coastline for a little while. No way! More pumpkins! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to be over a stack of pumpkins when I get home. This is this is awesome. This is awesome right here. This is worth the whole trip. J just finding all these pumpkins. Worth the trip. By itself. <gasps> no way! No! Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, okay, okay. We found what we're looking for. Something new. Something new. Something new that wasn't... In the game before, hold on, hold on. I have to, I have to, oh, hold on. Okay, I'm about, I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose it, guys. I found something. I've been out here for like half an hour, and I finally found something. <laughs> Excuse me, cows. I have some running to do. There's something on the horizon. That's right, folks. It's a Minecraft village, the original Minecraft village, or not the not the original original, but the original in terms of what actually got put in the game for public public playing, but, uh, behold, behold, why is there so much dirt here? What, why is this not grass? I don't know. I don't know, but there's a village here. We have, we have a well, classic staple of the Minecraft village. If you fall in, you can't really get back out unless you break a block, so let's not do that. We've got ourselves some furnaces and some lava, so I could use those furnaces if I want to cook some food out here. Okay. No, oh, I, I still have F3 turned on. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I forgot I had F3 on. Um. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yep, yep. This is classic village generation. It doesn't understand where things are for some reason. Oh, th this this is so cool. This is so cool. It's it's a village. It's got a couple little, little tiny houses with some little tiny tables. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this one's got a ladder. Look, we can see the world. Over here we got a couple more little house buildings. This one has two doors. Oh, yeah, and a backyard. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. We, we, we need to push, put these up on a, on a website somewhere for uh, real estate, you know? Want to buy this house? It's got, it's got a lawn. This one's a budget option. It's missing the front door. We do. Oh, and this, this one is a very much a budget option. It's got a dirt floor. And, and like, no space, no table, nothing for the, uh, for the minimalist, you know? Well, this is cool. This is cool. There's nothing major here, but, but it is a useful place to have if you were out here exploring and you wanted a place to kind of set up shop for a little while. Here's some ready-made buildings for you. You have them right here. And it's ready to go. This would be a great one, because you could put a bed in here. You could actually make some use out of this little space. Some chests or whatever. So yeah, this is here. Uh, we're at two... Okay, I'll have to write down these coordinates later. I think we might end this episode off with that village, but I want to go check first and see if there's anything else within a render distance here that could be of of interest. Over here is just another normal swamp. I'm not seeing any giant giant shrooms or anything. And would you look at that? I found some more pumpkins. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. You know, I have to say it's kind of addicting just exploring this world on and on. Especially when you actually find something. You're like, whoa. And it's like, I want to keep going. I want to keep going. I want to keep finding more of whatever might be out here. Even if there doesn't turn out to be a whole lot of it, it's it's this addicting drive to to seek it out nonetheless. Yep. Lava pool. Minecrafty moments. More pigos. So many pigos. Oh, big old ravine. Okay. Okay, I could bridge over it. I could, I could just go around. I used to bridge over those <laughs> when I was new to Minecraft. I don't know why I would bridge over those, but I would. I'd like build little you know, very simple, not artistic looking at all, little bridges over them. Be like, yep, I made it over the ravine, woo! <laughs>
Oh, the sun's gonna set pretty soon again. I better, I better, uh, yeah, I better figure something out real, real quick here. Is there any more new terrain? Any more new biomes? Any new stuff? Yeah, it looks like we're just in the woods here. So I'm gonna head right over here real quick. Set my bed down. Set some torches. And I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this is a foggy morning. Steel cat. What? What was that? Steel cat. The end is near. What? What? Who are you? What do you mean, the end? Where are you? There isn't much time. You must prepare. Return home. Why? It is the only way. The, 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 the only way to, to what? You must go. Whoa, okay. Well, shoot, okay. Uh, I guess I'd better get going. F3. Um, home is... Home is that way, basically. Uh, come along, bed. Well, guys, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess I'd better get going home, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but this about does it for this episode. I want to thank you very much for watching this episode of Minecraft 10 years ago, and if you enjoyed it, I uh, hope you'll hit that like button, or maybe even that subscribe button. That would be pretty darn cool. I will be back sometime soon with another episode of old school early ish beta alpha something or other minecraft goodness and 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 i hope to see you there uh well steel cat out